So I walked into my buddy Heath's store. If you haven't checked it out, bossandguitar.com, because he let me take it right off the wall. I didn't know what it was. I walked in, I'm like, what are all those? Because he had a whole wall of these. That's a guitar. This is a guitar? Yeah, man. Dude, it doesn't have a head. Yeah, man, it's got the fan frets and it's like, oh, it's really light and it's not a guitar. Strandberg, this Ola Strandberg guy who lives in Sweden, who's designing these Island of Dr. Moreau crazy, strange, strange things. Strangeberg. All the Berkeley kids that can't put their fenders high enough can now move this even higher and that maybe it'll actually help them and it'll be a thing. Myself being over the age of 40 and my buddy Heath being over the age of 90, we both were like, this, is, this doesn't represent, this doesn't look like a guitar. First thing he does is he hands me one. Now I have degenerative disc disorder. It's not easy for me to even hold out my arm like this, but this thing, I don't even think I'd weigh it in pounds. I'd put it in ounces. Your drug dealer, like, can you throw in a few extra ounces? Take this Strandberg. It is actually a guitar. Ola Strandberg knows what he's doing. And I immediately, I'm like, but I call bullshit because the, the frets look like they're like zinging off in a different direction than my OCD just wants to turn them. Band frets. Have you heard of this? I'd heard of it in a nightmare where I like, you know, I show up to the gig to play, you know, Bye Bye Birdie. And then all of a sudden, like my frets start coming alive and I'm like tripping on acid. You think you're playing a Fender and you look down and you have this. You're like, the frets are going this way. It doesn't have a head. Like this is like literally when you're peeking, you're freaking out and like Jerry hasn't gotten to trucking. The idea with the fan frets is that it's kind of mashing up a baritone and uh, a normal guitar into ones, you have less tension on the high strings and you can do easier, apparently like, dude, this is eight frets. Like you can do these crazy stretches. I don't think you're supposed to do those stretches. I don't ever see myself playing like this on this guitar and then all of a sudden going back to another guitar. The idea is it's supposed to give you kind of more bass here and, and less tension up here. You can do faster stretches and all that. Like, I don't know. Not only is it light, but it has the wildest neck profile, like this weird U humpy thing where they basically, it's a patented neck. And the whole concept is that if you have like repetitive motion injuries, so like you've been using this hand too much, you need to use this hand and like, you're getting starting to get all seized up and all that. And it forces you to have like this better posture. If I was gonna take one of those photos where I'm like with Schofield or Demiola, and I'm like on, on Guitar World and I'm trying to like, what chord am I making? This is the guitar I should be playing, right? Isn't this a Steinberg? No, it's a Strandberg. It's made of basswood, which I like. I think that's a great wood, like why not? And it has this, they say for cost, efficiency it has this five millimeter veneer of this beautiful flamey flame whatever it's made in i believe it's made in indonesia so this guitar i think is like 1800 bucks or whatever so they're not the cheapest these are not cheap indonesian guitars these are actually really nice indonesian guitars and apparently there's american custom shops so i'm guessing you could spend a lot more on a guitar that doesn't look like a guitar but let's get into it because i think I should be open-minded, breathe in the Strandberg, let it consume me, and then see if I have Agent Orange in six years. So first off, we have a hum sing, 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 like Benny Goodman, you know, the king of swing. They have in-house pickups. If you go one step higher, you can actually get John Soar pickups, or they even have Fishman uh, Fluence pickups on a few of them. All high quality stuff. Like this looks, this looks like some kind of crazy 17th century instrument to me where I need to get like a key and like turn it. Like, do you want to play as the minstrel this week for King George the first? This is a, this is kind of a cool like rear attack. Cool. Put it in the poopa. As we say here in Boston, put it in the poopa. <laughs> Apparently this tremolo, which looks like it's from outer space, um, maybe Tesla or something, 
It's crazy looking, but let's see if it's any good. I know that this is a thing for Strandberg. But the first thing I will say, it's very light. It's definitely ergonomic. It's meant to sit down and it's meant to step, uh, be able to be played. And the neck feels super, super comfortable on it, despite the fact that it, it's freaking me out, man. So first off, the tremolo is 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 bitching on this. It's nice. I like it. I mean, I I haven't really gone out of tune or anything yet. I don't like locking stuff because then I can't just go like, like I want to just go here. And is it like if you have your limb cut off? They say that you could still feel your arm even though like maybe it's been severed. You're like I have pain in my arm. No, it got cut off. It's like I feel like I still just need to turn the tuners up here. But it has the five way like Fender. Pretty clear. So, I mean, first off, it's pretty intonated. It sounds nice, like it plays decent. So, so far, it's uninspiring to me. I can tell you right now, I don't like the fan frets. It does not feel normal. I don't feel like I need any extra or whatever, but like, it's a preference. And these frets, these Jeskar frets, they're great. And if it's like your thing, that's cool. I'm gonna turn on the distortion now because I feel like this is a guitar that probably should be distorted. <laughs> So it's like if you've been skiing all of your life, they're like, hey man, you wanna try snowboarding, bro? No, dude, I have two legs. I like the autonomy for which I have two legs. I've been skiing in the Alps for 37 years. Think I'm gonna stick with the way I'm used to. But dude, snowboarding's rad. Sure it is. <laughs> right here I found a little bit of magic I was this is the first time since I played this guitar I was like oh there's there's a song in here I feel like I'm in like a sterile office where I'm like looking around it's just like white everything and then there's just like a life magazine over there but it's old and it's like it's the same story on every page the thing that's disconcerting is that this is a 25-5 scale but like it doesn't feel right to me. Like right here feel, is actually right here. You know, it's like, it's not, it's not the right muscle memory for me, but that's cause I'm old. I'm outdated. I don't matter. It doesn't have the life to me that like I expect, I guess, I don't know, out of my thousands of dollar PRSs and Gibsons. Tones in your hands and it's how it inspires you. Like I am uninspired because I'm again, an old fogey. And it's like, no, I don't want to, wear those parachute pants to the club. I'm not MC Hammer. Generals gathered in their masses. I will remain open-minded and say that this thing is pretty awesome. If you want one, go to Boston Guitar. You can actually get this exact one from bostonguitar.com. You should call them and you should totally say, Betty from the Neurotic Guitar sent me to call you to talk about the Strandbergs and make him explain it to you too, because he makes sense. And so far, 
I haven't tuned this guitar, guys. This is how it came from the store. It went through the New England weather, got down to my studio, it acclimated. Still in tune. It's a pretty decent trem. It's not the Duesenberg for me. And again, not a locking tremolo. So like, I'm not a super locking tremolo guy, but if you do listen to the new musics out there and you hear the guys like the, the Hensons and the Polyphios and the Peripherers and, and the Meshugus, the Meshugas, the Meshugas, and you say, hey man, I wanna play that, and you wanna have a baritone guitar in the, this side of it, and then like a normal, like a little cowboy guitar up here so you can play all the whittly whittlies. They have seven and eight strings. I bet you they probably even have nine strings, and if you call up the American custom shops, they'll make you a 16 string, because why not? Ola Strandberg. I don't know if it's a guitar, but it certainly plays like one. Why don't you smash that subscribe button already?